Republican Congressman Ken Buck of Colorado. He's a member of both the House Foreign Affairs Committee and the House Freedom Caucus. He's pushing for pre-2019 spending levels, and he's leading the charge against McCarthy's effort to cut a deal with Democrats. Uh, Congressman, thanks for joining us. So Speaker McCarthy warns uh, that this infighting among Republicans is going to likely backfire, and ultimately Congress is going to end up with higher spending levels um, because you are opposed by not just Democrats and some Republicans in the House, but by the U.S. Senate, most in, in the U.S. Senate, because there's bipartisan agreement on spending there. You could just pass the short-term spending bill right now and save your, your big spending fight for later this year. Why not do that? Well, the, the spending bill that the, the speaker is talking about passing, the continuing resolution um, in, in the next few weeks so that the government stays open after September 30th, would be at the 2023 number. Um, the speaker has promised that he won't go above the 2022 number, um, and there are many of us that want to see a number even uh, lower than that as a result of this uh, burgeoning uh, national debt that, that we have. So most Republicans voted against the 2023 number in the last uh, Congress. I can't imagine that most of them are going to want to vote for a continuing resolution of a number that they voted against. So it puts the speaker, um, as you said, between a rock and a hard place. Have you tried to meet with, say, a Senate Democrat to try? I mean, you know, everybody can look at the math and see that we as a country have been for too many years under Democrat and Republican administrations spending more money than we take in. I mean, it's just right there on the page. Have you tried to talk to anybody in the Senate who is of the other party to say, is there any way we can at least get on some sort of sustainable path? Um, I have had conversations with Democrats in the House. I'm not going to go through names or, or the negotiations, but I have talked to people in the House um, and other Republicans. Um, I think this is really where the Speaker's leadership comes into play. Uh, he needs to present a case uh, for how much wasteful spending there is in the federal government, as well as a path forward. Um, I have suggested to the Speaker that every committee, Judiciary Committee, Foreign Affairs Committee, Education Committee, all have a subcommittee that is dedicated to finding waste and cutting it out of the authorization so that the Appropriations Committee doesn't appropriate money uh, to those programs. Um, that, that is not uh, being followed. Uh, there are a lot of suggestions from a lot of people on how, on strategies that we can use to reduce spending. Uh, they've largely been ignored, and we end up with this crisis. I'm sure there's plenty of waste, fraud, and abuse, as they say, but it, isn't that kind of just a campaign slogan? Like, the, the real problem here is that we're spending money on things that we can't afford, and a lot of them are, are good programs. It's just that we can't afford uh, in, uh, those programs, be, you know, at the rate of the money that is coming in. Um, isn't, isn't that the real issue, that this is going to take some really difficult decisions? It absolutely is, uh, Jake, and, and that's really the problem with Congress. Congress doesn't make difficult decisions unless there's a crisis. And the, the most difficult decision are the entitlement programs, Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid. What we need to do is to make sure that the younger uh, workers, the 25, 26, 30-year-old workers, uh, are going to see a retirement age further down the road. There are other strategies that have to be adopted but that is the real driver of, of the debt. I don't think you can get to that side of the equation before you, you cut every single penny that you can on the discretionary side, on the, on the programs that form the, the bulk of the government. Uh, I wanted to get your uh, take uh, on your colleague, Congressman Matt Gates, saying he is prepared uh, to um, force a floor vote on impeaching President Biden and if Speaker McCarthy blocks the effort, he is threatening to make a motion to oust Speaker McCarthy. What do you think of that? Well, I think I think Speaker McCarthy has said a number of uh, times that he wants to bring a vote on the impeachment inquiry, not necessarily the impeachment, but the impeachment inquiry. Uh, so I think he and, and Congressman Gates are on the same page there. I don't think that there is a, an appetite right now for a motion to vacate uh, Speaker McCarthy. I think that uh, we have three committees that are working very hard on uncovering evidence of Hunter Biden's wrongdoing. Uh, they are looking to see if there is a connection with Joe Biden. If they reach that point where they can find evidence of a connection, 
uh, fine. I think the Republicans will move forward with an impeachment inquiry. Right now, I'm not convinced that that evidence exists, and I'm not supporting an impeachment inquiry. All right, Republican Congressman Ken Buck of the great state of Colorado. Good to see you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Coming up next, the new video.